G'day folks and welcome back to the channel. I'm currently standing in, in front of a fence for Bridge Road Residences. This is actually a re-explore of the video titled 9.504 million dollar abandoned Sydney mansion which is just on the other side of this fence here. It hasn't been demolished just yet but uh before it is demolished, I thought I'd just do a bit of a re-explore with uh, this <laughs> thing. Not gonna lie, the building actually doesn't look too bad. Well, it's not how it looks like. Ne never mind. You could probably expect it to be a little more trash than what it was before, but we'll see. Bit of a hole in the ground here. I think someone might have found a spider or you can really smell the abandoned smell, that sort of musty smell of death and stuff. All right, we're in. Uh, immediately, I can see that this chandelier, well, the only one in the camera, is um, scorched. Someone set the bastard alight. Kind of looks like a shower screen or something like that, laying on the ground here. A lot of the chandeliers have gone here. The power's off. Uh, last time the power was on. I don't know if I had tested it out in the last video. However, in the last video, the power was on. So the fences are up now, which indicates that this place is definitely going to be demolished very soon. One would think. It is quite trashed. It's quite trashed, but it does look... Does look nice nonetheless. Very nice chandeliers. They're weighty as well. Which means they're made proper. And there's a house next door, which I'll probably reveal now was actually um, called the Hoarder House in uh, one of my previous videos oh, quite a while ago, I think. So I keep reading that this is an Italian style mansion. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I've never been to Italy. I don't think. However, that is what it keeps being called. Another thing I've never done is looked outside as well. Beautiful wallpaper. The token burp in each video. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. Nice. We'll come back up here in one second. One thing that I never did in the last video, that I remember anyway, was have a look at the outside. And this fence here is actually through to that, um, quote, border house. And there's actually a tennis court here. Which I don't think I did know about that before. Mm. No? Mm. Yeah. Interesting. 
Oh, this isn't that spiky shit that was blocking out that morgue, was it? No, it's not. Never mind. Nice. So you can see, it's kind of like a tidal wave of apartments, just no matter where you look. So you have all these old places you're standing in front of or beside or wherever at the back of an old place and admire its beauty and usually you could see in the background the abundance of apartment blocks sort of closing in. There is actually an old basketball hoop here and basketball. Yeah. Very pansy basketball, man. Yeah. Nice. Bit of a target there. I don't know if that's sort of something to throw the ball at or something. We get another ball over there too. Kind of like this place is now the playground for the for all the people who live in these apartments here. Yeah, you probably can. Oh fuck! <laughs> One of the shit things about this is being six foot tall. Got a lot of rubbish here. Did you say suck balls? No, I said suck a ball. Oh, Australia, no worry. Super bounce. <laughs> Is it actually super bounce or what? And then we'll go back inside, I promise. Give me a second. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell, you just demolished the house. You just kicked a ball, which is probably about 400 grams. And when it hit the ground, it kind of sounded like a body. So I probably think you just knocked bloody Julie out of the tree. No. no. Poor Julie. Oh, oh, oh. Does that keep the wine? Probably a room that we could get into from the inside, but is my arm bleeding there? Is my arm bleeding there? No. Okay, good. Alright, people have knocked the fucking door down. So this is very mild, and I mean a very mild sort of I don't want to be like a downer and a like, you know, don't do this and don't do that in every video. But like, this is a sort of mild example as to why we don't give locations to videos. I know it's just a few doors off the hinges and a couple of broken this and a couple of broken that compared to some places that have absolutely been stripped to the bone by these motherfuckers. But yeah. Left the baking paper in there and everything. I made a joke about this before, but I don't remember what it was. Actually, I don't want to do that in case it's a timer. I'll probably end up setting it and then fucking run when it goes off.
So in the last explorer of this video, I didn't really explore this room too much. Well, I did. I guess I did a pan like this, but just wanting to sort of appreciate a little bit more and sort of taking notice of things, I guess. So sort of like these walls here, the detail. Oh, I'm not too sure if this is a decorative. No, this would be just to, like, you know, hang photos and things like that because you have the hook there. Or the, the screw. It would be a good thing to sort of, you know, like a border of the... Of a photo and another thing that I hadn't noticed before is actually in each corner is a bit more artwork the detail in these buildings are so cool like you know as I mentioned in a number of videos and probably offended a lot of people who design buildings but the effort put in to the buildings these days I'm not going to say a minimal like it I understand that it's hard work and everything like that However, <laughs> the, just these little things, I don't know, mean a lot, I guess. It's really cool. What would they be for? Decorative purposes? Or? Lost lads left. I've seen you guys or girls or both on Instagram quite a bit lately actually. So, free plug for you. <laughs> Is that? Oh, yeah, that's that sort of printed room again. And then this one, which I stuck the camera through before. Was the oven mitten? <laughs> oh wow, the trims. Shit. Very nice purple colour. And um, in each corner there's like a little flower. Upstairs we go. Since last time we've been here, the balustrade's gone. It's been completely knocked over. This kind of looks like it's been scorched. But then again, if it had been set alight, I suppose that the light bulbs would have gone too, so maybe not. I'm going to start with this room. More like a gym. I'm actually quite surprised that the um, the mould isn't a massive issue in here considering how much rain and everything we've had, we've had and the place doesn't exactly have a great deal of um, ventilation. This room's cool. I've always liked this room and the bathroom. So you sort of got the blue look to it. Oh, a bit day. Head out there in a minute. Just sort of check this part of the place. This 
Speaking of mold, you have a few patches in here. Don't know why I'm whispering. Someone's anti bidet <laughs> took it away. walk-in wardrobe. Bit of extra space in here. Ah, uh, hot water. Nice. Looking warm. <laughs> I mean, it happens with a place without aircon, but yeah. You're good? Bit of a sesh room, I don't know. Something like that, you know. Nice room. A good place to spend about 20 minutes. <laughs> Bank logos. This is a bit small to be a bedroom. It could be storage or. I don't know, it could be a single bedroom. Maybe. You put the bed right against the wall there and a child could have. You know, it's a pretty decent room. Yeah. This room is pretty basic. Nice window though. Sidle along here. You can have it all in here. Interesting pink roof. Gee, big room. It'd be cool to have a house like this, but to be honest, I don't know. I mean, I'd use, a, I'd use the bath if need be. Like, obviously, I'm not, not too picky, but wouldn't need a whole lot of room. It'd kind of make me feel like I'm in a morgue. <laughs> Have a wee look outside. It's a bit of creaking throughout the video. It's um, that's just been these doors, I think. So I appreciate the exterior a bit. Beautiful old house, though. Beautiful grand place. You know, when I very first went to explore this place, I noticed that um, noticed this sort of arched upper entrance here, and then noticed this light up here on. I noticed noticing this light on in the later part of the day when I first explored the joint. It was a uh, yeah eerie. It's quite eerie, but good. It's such a beautiful place, um, even though it sort of declined over the last quite a few months since I've been here, and with the fencing at the front there as well, sort of indicating that the place is going to go pretty soon. So, yeah. All right, that'd be all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up, share the video, all that good shite, and I'll catch you all very soon. Goodbye for now.